headed um, to the trampoline park. All right, well, before we head there, welcome to Crazy Gore in the City! Are you ready to play? If you can't think of something after three seconds, you'll lose. Are you ready? I was born ready. Woo! All right, the first category is big cities around the world. Rachel, we'll start with you. You're going to go back and forth. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Jacksonville, Florida. Dallas. Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Austin. Uh, Italy. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, don't I don't think that Italy is a city in the country. <laughs> Oh, wah, wah, wah. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> round two has an extra challenge. You'll both be guessing while chewing five pieces of gum. Here's your gum. <laughs> Our next <laughs> category <laughs> is pizza, pizza toppings. Pizza. Are you guys okay, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Green pepper. Pepperoni. Sausage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Black olive. Oh, ham. Onion. Pineapple. Chicken. Parmesan. Anchovies. Meatballs. Bro. Oh, three, two, one. Oh. You lose. Oh. 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 Sad day Sad for day. Austin. Oh, you, guys, you know what that means? That's time for today's tiebreaker. Yeah. All right, that's one for Rachel, one for Austin for today's tiebreaker. The category is mammals without fur. Let's start with Rachel. Here we go. Three, two, one. Awesome. Without fur? Without fur? What? Awesome. Awesome. Definitely have fur. You lose. All right, Austin, your prize for winning is a giant chocolate bar. I got you so Thank you guys so much for blazing crazy cars. It's time to head to the trampoline park. What's up, everybody? I'm Miles, and I'm excited to explore the city, meet new people, and discover more about the armor of God. When you think of the word armor, you might think of protection, like putting on a helmet before taking your bike for a quick spin around the neighborhood. Or maybe you think of a knight in shining armor, protecting a king's castle, soldiers marching into battle, or a fireman running into a burning building. Or you may picture gearing up in a full suit of gadgets with superpowers to protect yourself from evil villains, asteroids, and flaming darts. But that's not what we're talking about. There's actually something more powerful than any of those things. It's an invisible armor that we can wear every day, no matter where we go or what we're doing. I'm talking about God's armor. When we depend on God's power and put on the six pieces of his armor, it gives us everything we need to protect ourselves and fight against our enemy, the devil. Everybody, get on your feet. It's time to sing. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on First things first, you got the bell to truth. Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news. The armor of God and the shield of faith. Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray. Put on the full armor of God. 
stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Now in faith we can stand, stand, stand Against every evil plan, plan, plan Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong He has won I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on Great singing. You can take a seat. It's time to play Fun Bus Trivia. Which of these cities has the most skyscrapers? A. Hong Kong B. Tokyo C. Chicago or D. New York City Shout out your best guess. Hong Kong has over 500 skyscrapers. It's time for our next question. The world's fastest roller coaster can be found in which city? A. Paris B. Seattle C. Mexico City or D. Abu Dhabi Let's hear your best guess now. Thrill seekers everywhere should visit Abu Dhabi to ride the world's fastest roller coaster, Formula Rosa. Ready for one last question? Which city should you visit to find the highest pigeon population? A. Boston B. Rio de Janeiro C. Beijing or D. London Shout it out! If you visit London, you'll need to watch out for pigeon poo raining from the sky. Great job playing our game! Even though you can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. God is fighting for people to know who he is and how much he loves them. But the devil, his enemy, is evil and tries to trick us into believing lies about God. Lies like God doesn't really love us or that we shouldn't trust or obey God. The Bible tells us that the devil was a beautiful and powerful angel who once served God. But because the devil was full of pride, he thought he was more powerful than God and tried to take over heaven. His attempt failed because no one is more powerful than God. So God threw him and his followers down from heaven. Since that time, the devil has made evil plans to trick God's people into listening to him instead of listening to God. You're probably wondering if we should be afraid of the devil. The answer is no. He may be sneaky, but we don't need to be afraid of him. When we decide to follow Jesus, God makes us a part of his army and gives us powerful armor to fight anything the devil tries to use against us. In Ephesians 6, each piece of armor is a symbol for how God protects us from the devil's evil plans. The first thing we put on is the belt of truth. It makes us able to spot the devil's lies. We also put on the armor of godliness, which helps us make right choices. When we put the good news boots on our feet, we have the courage to go and tell people about Jesus. This helps God's army grow, and the devil can't stand it. We get the shield of faith to help us trust God and block anything the devil tries to send our way. We wear the helmet of salvation to help us remember we are a part of God's family and nothing can separate us from His love. When we carry the sword of the Spirit, which is the Bible, we have the power to stand strong by using God's words which defeat the devil. He may want to take us down, but the truth is, he can't. God already won the battle over evil when he brought Jesus back to life. And one day, he will remove the devil and his bad angels forever. Until then, we can grow in our friendship with God each day as we spend time with him and get ready for battle. We can put on God's armor. Put on God's armor. Everybody get on your feet. Let's play red light, green light. Listen for the motion, and when you see the green light, do it as fast as you can. When you see the yellow light, take it into slow motion. But when the light turns red, everybody stop. Ready? Round one. 
Jog in place. Round two, jumping jacks. Round three, hop on one foot. Great job, you can take a seat. Hey there folks, I'm Joe Miller coming at you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Around this city, there are some awesome people that I am so excited for you to get to know. I mean, it's pretty hard to stay still and chill when this place is a treasure trove of talent, coolness, and um, basically everyday heroes. From a musician whose songs you're gonna be humming all day, to a pro skateboard shredder who's got some crazy moves up his sleeves, this place is full of people who do everyday things in ways you'd never expect. I mean, this city is totally the place to be. Now, before we hit the streets, I thought I'd tell you a little about myself. As I said before, I'm Joe, and for as long as I can remember, I have wanted to be a news reporter. The latest reports, the interesting people, crazy stories, it's just the best. Like those feel-good stories of when Tabby, the feline phenomenon, meowed her way to stardom in a riveting rendition of the hit Baby Shark. But then there were some stories that made me pretty sad, like times when the news would report how littering was creating so much trash on the street that it was getting caught in gutters and making a mess. Or even when people were hurting other people. It was really hard to watch that kind of stuff. I did some investigative reporting and realized that all of this is happening because there is a battle going on. Yeah, no joke, a legit battle. But the real deal with this battle is, we can't see it. I know, crazy, right? Like, how's that even possible? But that's because it's a spiritual battle going on between God, who is like my favorite ever, and the devil, who is the worst. He is our enemy, which basically means his main goal is to ruin our relationship with God and others. That goes against everything that God wants for our lives. You know, this whole battle thing can seem crazy to think about, but I'm here with an amazing inside scoop. God has given us exactly what we need every day for us to stand strong in this battle and win. It's called the Armor of God, and it's got everything we need to stand firm against the enemy. So, my mission, get the down low on what's happening here in the city and find all kinds of amazing people who put their everyday armor to good use. That's it for today, though. So, stay tuned for the next episode of Joe on the Go. Put on God's armor. Everybody, get on your feet. It's time to sing.
singing. You can take a seat. Let's review what we've learned today. Try to memorize the cards before the timer runs out. Time's up. Which number has the match? Shout it out. You found the first match. True or false? The battle we are fighting every day is one we can see. False. There is a very real battle happening around us that we can't see. It's between God and our enemy, the devil. Let's find the next match. Find the match. Shout it out. You got it! Here's our next question. How many pieces of armor does God give us? Four, six, or eight? In Ephesians 6, the Bible tells us about six pieces of invisible armor that God gives us to fight the spiritual battle we face every day. Let's find another one. Which number has the match? Shout it out! It's time for one more question. How can we put on God's armor? By praying and reading our Bibles or by taking a city bus tour? We can pray and read our Bibles to put on God's armor every day. Great job playing our game. Everybody say this together. Every day, I will put on the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth. To fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness. To protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots. To tell others about Jesus. I hold up the shield of faith. To block what the devil sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation. To remember God always loves me. I hold up the sword of the Spirit. God's word is my best weapon. Now I stand firm and pray. Hey God, thank you for giving us armor to protect us against the enemy. Help us to put on your armor and depend on your power every day. We love you. Amen. <laughs>